Legend Total War here, and today we've got a rating your Doomstack video covering a Phoenix Guard Doomstack. So he's got a bit of an interesting situation here where he's kind of hit the max physical resistance cap for the um, for the Phoenix Guard by doing a couple of tricks. So their innate resistances are 5% ward save, 40% physical resistance, right? Then you've probably got a Diamond Guardian Phoenix there, so that brings you to 55% physical resistance. You've got this one over here, bringing you to 65% physical resistance. And then you've got Alarial constantly casting, um, putting down the Shield of Safri, I think, um, providing... You've also got the Shield Stone of Isha, so that's providing additional physical resistance, yep. Yeah. And then, uh, let's just see where it is in here somewhere. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? It's in the past. There it is. Shield of Safri for additional damage resistance. Alright, so we kind of have to blob up, but he did say that even with the damage resistance, artillery is a bit of a problem. Uh, but uh, let's just see how this performs. Um, so he said to use 3x3 um, three three squares <coughs> to, um, so like uh, rows of 3 infantry. Don't blob up too much, but uh, yeah, you want to try to stack on those bonuses. We'll just see how we go with this. So we're going up against uh, Tomb Kings, which is, I think, a good choice because uh, we've been getting a lot. This has been going up against Vampire Counts or something interesting. And this is definitely an interesting build because of the, um, it's a melee infantry doom stack. And melee infantry definitely perform a lot better in Warhammer 3. And, uh, yeah, we'll just uh, see how it does. Does this one here have any special aura as well? Let me just check. No, these ones, when they die, they um, burst into flame. That's that's their big thing. Okay. So, definitely an army I didn't expect to see. So, what's with the uh, fire dragon? How much wins do we have? 120. Okay. Well, I'll do what he says, and we'll try to set up as best as possible a blob that works. So it's not, not really a blob, but um, try to set up an army that, that actually works with this. Science this guy needs to be in the plan. center. And we need to see... Yeah, we can see that it's not actually affecting the wall. In fact, that's not affecting the front line. We control the sky. Yeah, okay. Um, I can move them forward. I'm going to need to readjust there. Maybe go a little bit wider with them. See if that might work. Put that one in the middle. Alright, let's see how that goes. Because once we've got them in the right formation, we can just lock the formation group. Uh, that's okay, but the back line's not getting it. What if I just move them back a little bit? Alright, the only one that's not getting it is this guy here, so I'll just move him up there. So you kind of got to blob up a little bit, so... Yeah, artillery will be a bit of a problem. But with that... So the thing is, a lot of their artillery is magical attacks, so... Okay, maybe the dragon should really try to focus on getting rid of that right away. Um... He said for Alarial to keep shooting. He's got a lot of wizards in the army. So I guess with beast magic, you could use um, Pans and Pans will pelt over cast. But that's going to eat up your reserves really quickly. Whereas if you use cheat magic with um, Alarial, you can activate the um, uh, the uh, Shield of Safari constantly. We have to do it every nine seconds, though. Um... Yeah, I don't know. Like, this is definitely the kind of army that you need a bit of practice with, eh? But we'll just, we'll just see how it goes. Okay. Maintaining order. Alright, so... How am I going to do this? Let's make our way over to here. This is going to be the main problem, army. Right, do we have anything that's going to generate extra wins? Yeah, do it. 
because of all of the bone giants and um, casket of souls, let's try to get over there and, and wipe them out early. This is definitely not going to get top marks for ease of use. There's no way in hell I'd give top marks for this. This is going to be finicky as hell. But I really do like the idea behind it. So looking at this one here, 60% physical resistance there. Alright, dragon. Now, don't be using those abilities. I need you to take out these bone giants. Alright, Alariel, let's start healing. So now... Yeah, look at that. That's 85% physical resistance there. Just gotta watch out for magical attacks. Which, the bone giants are shooting at our flying units, so that's... Something. Guide me. Didn't quite get right up in their face, which is what you need to be doing, but maybe from this distance here, if we could just keep them shooting at Alariel, this could work. Don't forget to keep casting. This is going to make sure we don't run out of magic. Oh yeah, that's a bit of a problem, the curse, but it doesn't seem to be doing any damage. Yeah, it's definitely downsized to blobbing, especially with infantry. Okay, looks like we got a pretty good rhythm of this at the moment. Now again, we could use Pan's Impenetrable Pelt, but I'm concerned that we would run out of magic too early if we started doing that. And they're doing pretty damn well on their own right at the moment. Gotta make sure Alariel is also flying right above our units here. So they're getting that extra physical resistance. But yeah, we are barely taking any damage whatsoever here. Just gonna get rid of the front line here and then charge in at those damn bone giants. Yeah, it's a little bit annoying. If a unit is Rampage, you can't click on the unit card for the deals. It's a bit annoying. Getting recharged here, but I don't think it's going to matter. Okay, this one is taking way too much damage. If we lose that one, we lose the ability. I'm not going to use these army ability, uh, these um, abilities on the items on the, uh, the, the heroes here that are really powerful because we've got to rely on the phoenix guard that's what we're doing here um this one just go land in the middle of them but yeah look at this we've lost like five phoenix guard in total problem is i've got to keep microing alariel here Bounce to power's not in our favor. Only by a little bit. I think there might actually be a bit too many heroes in this army. A few too many wizards. Especially the fire dragon. This one here is just, just not doing well for me. Too much of a vulnerability. The AI is just targeting it. Just gotta move it out of the way. In fact, let's just get off the battlefield. Yeah, like I wasn't gonna use its magic, and it was just um, just a liability on the battlefield here. Okay, it's good to see one of the bone giants in melee against the Phoenix Guard there. How about you go take that one out? If we can just get them pinned down so they stop shooting at Alariel. 
I can actually focus on making some other decisions. One bone giant here, but it's almost out of ammo at least. The other missiles I'm not worried about at all. At once, under her protection. The other heroes are doing just fine. By Isha, forward. Just gotta make sure we keep on casting. This is, how, this is actually absolutely nuts how strong this is at the moment. I I kind of figured it would be okay, but I didn't think it would be this good. Like, we're just not taking damage. They're even popping down the curse on us, and it's just not doing much. Alright, good. We don't have anyone shooting at um, Alariel now, so she can chill just above them. Alright, there's a Screaming Skull Catapult over here, but it doesn't seem to be moving towards us, so I think we're fine. Alright, we've got Ushabti Great Bro shooting at us, but the damage is being spread out, and it's physical damage, and if we have a look here, we're at... Yeah, we're still in really good shape here. Just make sure she's in the dead center there. So this is the one here that mustn't leave the battlefield, because we need that physical resistance constantly active. I don't think we need to worry about any of this. Dawn's hope. Yenui! Fail! Black Hoy! Truth! Justice! Yeah, so we use um, cheap winds of magic so that we keep activating the passive ability. Which also heals them, because we're using life bloom at the same time. So we've got other diamond. Sorry, other types of Phoenix uh, items in there as well. But the only one that really matters, I think, is the Diamond Guardian Phoenix. I imagine we've got a lot of fire resistance. Yeah, we do. But um, we're not really going up against a lot of fire attack anyway. Okay, let's pull this one out of combat. It's taken the most damage. Yeah, these guys themselves don't have as much resistance as the Phoenix guy. But we need this one to, to get that really high resistance. Okay, okay, they're focus firing on this guy here now. But this one's not essential, so we can get this one off the battlefield if we need to. So if you're wondering what's going on as well, you've got to keep in mind we're using the Shield Stone of Isha. Okay, it's, this is too many abilities. If we go down to here, one of her items provides physical resistance in a area of effect. Currently, every unit is um, getting that effect. This is why the blob is kind of needed, which is also why it's very dangerous for um, these kind of units. Mage. Alariel the Ever Queen. Nothing else coming from here, that's good. Guided by light. With haste. Advancing. But yeah, the only thing in the army that I don't really agree with is the fire wizard. On the dragon, just because it acts as a really easy target. Oh my god, really early army losses there. Holy crap. This was fantastic. <laughs> really, really bloody strong. It requires a bit of effort, you know, but if you can pull it off, it's really friggin' good. Because, yeah, if we have a look, these guys here, they dished out damage really nicely. The battle didn't go on for that long. Probably could have picked a tougher opponent. Yeah, the thing is, in Warhammer 3, finding a super tough opponent can be difficult. The AI just doesn't produce as many stacks as it did in Warhammer 2. Um, except for endgame crises, but oh my god, I think we're a bit sick of seeing um, vampire count undead um, 
in-game crisis against these sort of things. We, we should have been able to handle it. They do tend to have a lot of magic attack, though, which um, would have bypassed all that sweet physical resistance. Because, yeah, look at all this. So many bloody items. Yeah, really good combination. Oh, could you just get rid of this already? But yeah, the fire wizard, I don't really understand the point of it, apart from it just being having a fire wizard. But I think in this particular scenario, it, it would be fine to keep it, just not on the dragon. Sometimes dragons are liabilities. Um, the AI will always try to target your highest value units, especially if it's um, quite vulnerable to missiles. So having one super high value unit in amongst medium value units, they're just going to focus fire on it. So you need to kind of standardize all of your equipment. Um, so if you've got multiple heroes, then maybe put them all on the Ithilmar Chariot or on the horse mount. That way the AI won't shoot at them. Uh, they will shoot at the Ithilmar Chariot. They won't shoot at horses. Ithilmar Chariots are considered large enough to shoot. Nice. And then after the win, you grab the farmer, um, sorry, forced labor and get the... Um, army replenishment rate. So we only lost 47 troops out of all that. They, that could have very easily taken on more armies. Very easily. You will serve me. Yeah. And another great thing about this is that it's not dependent the on the Lord having like huge amount of trait farms as well. So if the person had used the trait manager, it just wouldn't matter. That wouldn't matter in this situation here. Because the best you could hope for is a bit of extra physical, a uh, bit, bit of extra weapon strength, which is negligible in, in the long run there. Making Ilaria a little bit tankier would have been good, but she survived the battle just fine. But yeah, very interesting build, if nothing else. And I do, I do prefer these ones at the moment, as opposed to just like super dumb monster armies that we've seen before. We haven't seen anything like this before. So I want to uh, just get to the um, next turn so I can look at it a little bit more. Just finding clever ways to stack on those bonuses. And the battle didn't last all that long either. Just an intern take forever. It's almost done. If you wish to see dawn, leave now. The only, th I guess, one of the big things that I'm thinking of here is that um, it's not very thematic for Alariel because her speciality is sisters of um, Alaria, of Avalon, the right? Queen. Um. You could do it with Dryads or Treemen, I suppose, if you're playing as Avalon, because they have innate physical resistance. Yeah, you could do that. But yeah, so do the uh, the Phoenix guys. They've got innate physical resistance, and then I think they're boosted in the tech tree even further. What, what about through the red line here? Yeah, 10% physical resistance. Yeah, so they just get tons of resistances that way. Just keep stacking them on. Made them nigh and indestructible nice okay rating this in terms of practicality it's not super high because phoenix guard are a high tier unit um this isn't the cheapest thing ever and that's quite a few heroes and it's also quite item dependent uh this sh the shield stone of isha is a, a unique item so you can just find that um throughout your course of your campaign but diamond guardian phoenix you have to rely on a vol um I, what's it called? Um, Invocation of Vol event to trigger, which you could just save scum to get the right one. Um, or you can actually get it by a confederation. Sometimes the AI high elves will get it, and then you can confederate them to get the item. That can happen. Um, and then it's just a lot of Phoenix Guard. I don't think that this one here was necessary in the army at all. 
so you could leave it as an emergency unit but yeah this one here was a big boost the extra 10 percent ward save for sure really helps uh, with the uh, magical attacks so yeah um practicality it's it's not super high it's not impossible to make this it's you did it by turn 100 it doesn't look like a cheated campaign based on what i'm seeing here so seem it's it's doable it's doable but yeah we're not really making Patience use chosen. of um her main profession which is for sisters of avalon but that's okay um in terms of strength it was really strong uh, close to top marks there. There'd be very few armies in the game, I think, that would really give this a hard time. Because if there was something that was very artillery um, focused, you could just not focus too heavy on blobbing up and just all out attack. So, for example, if you were going up against Reichland and they had Hillstorm rocket batteries, just go wide and charge at them and uh, just try to get them as quickly as possible. Uh, and I think it would still manage quite well. And don't forget as well that the Hellstorm rocket batteries are physical attack. Uh, but there's there's probably a couple of units in the game that this would give it grief. So it doesn't get top marks for strength, but very high marks. Um, probably add an additional category for interesting. It's very... It gets top marks for it being interesting. In terms of ease of use, mm, not so easy. Um, that wasn't too difficult in that battle. Um, but you have to make sure everything is is working as intended or else it can really fall apart if you don't have all the buffs like if they snipe one of your heroes if Alariel gets chased off uh due to the ai trying to lord snipe something like that then this can really impact on on their physical resistance because they really need to get that higher level anything above like 60 70 80 percent is going to see massive returns as opposed to only 40 percent um but yeah overall a really interesting doomstack so i appreciate it being sent in um, hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments below what you think of it. Um, in terms of another thing as well, um, the closed captioning trolling that we've been doing, I think it's time to call that off. Um, the joke has run its course. I'm just going to let the auto captioning do its thing, whether it's going to be um, Jump to the Wall here or Legend of Total Wall, whatever it's going to be, that's fine. Um, but we've, we've, I think we've had our joke with it. Um, don't forget to hit subscribe if you haven't already. We are kind of on track to reach the goal of 455,000 subscribers by the end of the year um but we'll, we'll see how we go that it's been a bit volatile in terms of sub gain rate every time i ask for subs i get subs but sometimes i forget to do it um and then i don't gain subs and then we sort of fall behind but we'll see how we go anyway it's the end of this one appreciate you guys and i'll see you next time fuckers bye